Yo, yo, what's happening, y'all? I just want to go ahead and provide you guys a quick update. Um, so, according to Michael Benson via the Daily Star, Daily Mail slash sports column, I believe it's the Daily Star or just Daily Mail, one of the two, but it has been reported that the Joshua Usyk fight does have a another date um, that is um, pending at the moment. They're looking to, what the targeting date that is, they are looking to secure the date um, for the rematch to take place in Saudi Arabia on August 20th. Now, that's still a targeted date. That's not set in stone, but that it is the targeted date they're looking at, and hopefully they should have further developments within the next week or so. All right, look, I, I gotta say this. This has got to be said. No more sugarcoatedness, okay? I'll say this once and I'll say it again. Will the fight happen? I believe it will. Okay, that's number one. Let's get that out the way. Number two. First, <laughs> not saying not first, but I don't understand why it's taken one year to this day, nearly one year. And I still believe at this point, they say it's August 23rd. It's going to be August 20th. I'm sorry. will be the target day. I truly believe it's going to be September because at that point it's one year. Why is it taking one year to get an immediate rematch clause to be fulfilled? I mean, immediate rematch to be fulfilled after the fact that you executed that clause that stipulation two weeks after you lost the fight, naming Anthony Joshua and Andy Hearn, okay? Yes, some people are gonna go ahead and defer to the whole Ukraine and Russia conflict. That's the reason why the fight got postponed, yada, yada, yada. Look, I get it. It did have some bit of effect, but it wasn't a significant effect for that fight to be delayed. That's, let me tell you the reason why, because the first fight happened in September of last year, okay? That's one. Number two, again, Joshua executed his rematch clause two weeks after he lost. Two weeks after that, okay? Eddie Hearn was targeting the rematch to take place in February and March, which I came on here many times saying, well, that's a bad idea. Because first things first, Josh is not gonna be ready for that fight in March and February. You know what? It is his choice, so be it. Let's get it out the way, see what he can do, what improvements he can show. So this could take place long before the Ukraine and Russian conflict started, long before. And Usyk wasn't in the in the um, it wasn't in the field of battle that long. Okay, he's been training and he's in he's temporarily residing in Poland, I believe. He's been there since I believe of um, training since uh, the end of April of this year. So he's been training, and Joshua still can't figure out his training situation. I mean, you got people coming in, bouncing in and out of his camp. You know, you know he's been visiting various various trainers. You know, in in the United States where I'm at. You know, he ultimately decided to go ahead and bring in Robert Garcia. But the thing is, Robert Garcia is not the head trainer. He's only bringing in a sec, you know, bringing in some other expertise and he's going to devise a game plan how to beat Usyk. Okay, fine, so be it. But the, th the thing I did th that has to be mentioned, I forgot to mention this in one of my prior videos, is that Robert Garcia has a terrible record against Sal Paul's. That's another red flag that people need to consider. Most of his fighters, or all of his fighters, can't beat Sal Paul's. So, why would Joshua bring in a guy who has a terrible record against Southpaws? <laughs> I don't I don't get it. That's, it. that's his decision, so be it. But the fact is, is that if we don't get this fight, if this fight has to be pushed back one more time after the August 20th day or whatever date it is in August, if it's being pushed back once again after, after the August date, this fight might as well be canceled. I'm serious. I have to say it. I know I'm going to piss off a lot of AJ fanboys for, say, for, for saying this, but it's got to be canceled. Because at this point, Usyk and his team should say, you know what? We waited too long. We need to move on. We need to move on. Okay? And I think it's be the best for both parties because Usyk can go ahead and defend his titles against someone else. And Joshua can get an interim fight. Um, not against a guy, you know, against a guy who can give him the less resistance. And the reason why I say that, because right now, he needs a confidence-building fight. He need to get at least one or two of those in there. So that way, he'd be enough, have enough uh, confidence. And he can be acclimated with the... Um, with the um, with the style of Robert Garcia and his teachings and his um, you know incorporate his uh, his techniques you know the techniques that he you know that he can help bestow um, in him with um, you know through Angel Garcia so not Angel Garcia Angel Fernandez so um, yeah I think it'd be best if it again if this fight gets pushed back again after the uh, August date if it does then I think it needs to be canceled all right. I think he needs to be canceled and let Usy go on and defend his titles and let Joshua have an interim fight against an a, a opponent that doesn't provide much resistance so he can get his confidence back. Let me know what your thoughts about this. I'm out. Peace.